Hey, I'm Mandy from Deep Lizard. In this episode, we'll demonstrate how to use a confusion matrix to visualize prediction results from a neural network during inference. In the last episode, we showed how we could use our trained model for inference on data contained in a test set. Although we have the labels for this test set, we don't pass them to the model during inference. And so we don't get any type of accuracy readings for how well the model does on the test set. Using a confusion matrix, we can visually observe how well a model predicts on test data. Let's jump right into the code to see exactly how this is done. We'll be using scikit-learn to create our confusion matrix. So the first thing we need to do is import the necessary packages that we'll be making use of. Next, we create our confusion matrix by calling this confusion matrix function from scikit-learn and we pass in our test labels as the true labels, and we pass in our predictions as the predictions that the confusion matrix expects. And recall this rounded predictions variable, as, as well as the test labels, these were created in the last episode. So rounded predictions, recall, was when we used the argmax function to select only the most probable predictions. So now our predictions are in this format. And then our labels are zeros and ones that correspond to whether or not a patient had side effects or not. So next we have this plot confusion matrix function. And this is directly copied from scikit-learn's website. There's a link to the site on the corresponding blog where you can copy this exact function. But this is just a function that scikit-learn has created to be able to easily plot in our notebook the confusion matrix, which is going to be the actual visual output that we want to see. So we just run this cell to define that function. And now we create this list that has the labels that we will use on our confusion matrix. So we want uh, the labels of no side effects and had side effects. Those are the corresponding labels for our test data. Then we're going to call the plot confusion matrix function that we just brought in and defined above from scikit-learn. And to that, we are going to pass in our confusion matrix and the classes for the confusion matrix, which we are specifying CM plot labels, which we define just right above. And lastly, just the title that is going to be the title to display above the confusion matrix. So if we run this, then we actually get the confusion matrix plot. All right, so we have our predicted labels on the x-axis and our true labels on the y-axis. So the way we can read this is that we look and we see that our model predicted that a patient had no side effects 10 times when the patient actually had a side effect. So that's incorrect predictions. On the flip side though, the model predicted that the patient had no side effects 196 times that the patient indeed had no side effects. So the, this is the correct predictions. And actually, generally reading the confusion matrix, looking at the top left to the bottom right diagonal, these squares here in blue going across this diagonal are the correct predictions. So we can see total that the model predicted 200 plus 196, so 396 correct predictions out of a total of 420, I think, yes. So all these numbers added up equal 420. 396 out of 420 predictions were correct. So that gives us about a 94% accuracy rate on our test set, which is equivalent to what we were seeing for our validation accuracy rate during training. So as you can see, a confusion matrix is a great tool to use to be able to visualize how well our model is doing at its predictions and also be able to drill in a little bit further to see for which classes it might need some work. By the way, we are currently in Vietnam filming this episode. If you didn't know, we also have a vlog channel where we document our travels and share a little bit more about ourselves. So check that out at Deep Lizard Vlog on YouTube. Also, be sure to check out the corresponding blog for this episode, along with other resources available on deeplizard.com. And check out the Deep Lizard Hive Mind, where you can gain exclusive access to perks and rewards. Thanks for contributing to Collective Intelligence. I'll see you next time.